Hi everyone, it's Dawn and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Unfortunately, I do have a few news stories and two of them are not great news, especially one where we have lost two crew members from Holland America. Our first story comes as tragic news as two crew members have passed away on the new Amsterdam for Holland America. They were at Half Moon K, which is their private island destination. Their uh, alarm bells went out on Friday and uh, apparently some people thought there was an explosion on board, some people thought there was a fire on board, but the captain has come on and said that the incident was a steam incident on board. So it, it can, you know, if you think about it for a little bit, you know, a steam pipe bursting down in the lower depths of a, you know, a metal ship could sound like an explosion happened. Uh, of course, if you hear the fire alarms go out, the first thought in people's heads were fire, but uh, about an hour later, the, came, the captain came on and explained to everybody that the tragic news of the loss of two crew members and stated that they will be leaving uh, later the private island because, you know, they obviously have to do an investigation. They reported this to the authorities and they are investigating things as well. They also have set up counselors on board for fellow crew members and are in process of contact the families of those involved as well. Again, not great news. This is always a sad news. I, every time I hear of a crew member passing away, I think back to all the amazing crew members I've met on cruise ships and befriended and talked to and always have a great time with different crew members in all parts of the ships, whether they're my stewards or the entertainment or my waiters or my bartenders or the people walking around cleaning the railings on the ship that I talk to. Uh, it, they always are just so friendly and are amazing to me and this is really sad news and uh, every time I hear it I hope that it's not somebody that I know personally and uh, either way Tragic news for everybody involved in cruising and condolences go out to the friends, family and fellow crew members on board Holland America's New Amsterdam. We also have another bad story that happened over the course of last week where apparently a Scottish man went missing on the MSC Arabia. It, uh, it's a weird kind of story because it didn't come out right away. Apparently, he was on board with his mother and sister and family members celebrating a birthday. Well, his wife is still back at home and she says she received uh, either an email or a, a text message stating that, you know, he wasn't feeling well, he was getting seasick. And then the next message she got was from his sister stating that there was an accident and that he will not be returning home. Apparently, she hasn't really been getting too much communication from MSC Cruise Line, but that could also be because the family members like mother and sister are directly on board. They could be dealing with them and helping them out through this situation. Also, they could have told the cruise lines themselves that they want to notify the wife and everybody else personally, as opposed to letting the cruise line do it, break the news themselves. That may be why uh, MSC has not reached out to the wife quite yet. I know she's frustrated at not knowing the news and you would be too if you heard nothing but there was an accident and your loved one won't be returning home. Counselor service has also been set up on board there for the family. The, apparently the family have been shown the video footage showing the overboard incidents, but no word on whether it was intentional, alcohol was involved. There's no stories about arguments or drunken behavior or anything like that. Again, this is just one of those tragic stories that do come out every once in a while of 
people going missing. I believe the gentleman was only 27 years old. And uh, they will be launching a huge investigation, but it's going to involve Scotland, the UK, France, uh, because of all the different nationalities and the jurisdictions involved as well. Becomes a little bit complicated, but there will be another investigation, as they always are, into these types of situations. Next, we also have a story that was an unexpected flood that happened on the Seaborn Sojourn. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Um, passengers were startled to find uh, basically a waterfall coming down the stairwell of their cruise ship. Imagine waking up in the morning, walking out into the main piazza area and uh, kind of sleepy-eyed going to get your coffee and there's just this waterfall of water flowing down from the upper deck. Yeah, that would not be a, a fun situation to wake up to. It happens all the time. It was a pipe that bursts. It just happened to be in a public area that everyone could see. Uh, you also hear this on other stories of pipes bursting and flooding people's cabins. I had that once on a long, long time ago. Happened to me in one of my cabins. Uh, so it, it, it's, it's a thing that happens. Uh, luckily, no one was injured. Nobody was, you know, too inconvenienced from reports. It doesn't seem like it affected any cabins. Could be mistaken there, but there, I don't see any reports saying anybody had to move their cabins and their cabins or their personal belongings were damaged. The water was quickly turned off at the pipes. They dried it off as best they could and then put those big fans down and dried out the situation. A little bit of an inconvenience on the ship, but did not ruin anybody's real holiday. That's good. Finally, uh, Royal Caribbean, we know in the Bahamas, is building a beach club there for their guests, for probably Royal Caribbean, as well as maybe celebrity. When they go to the Bahamas, you can go only to that private destination. It's a beach club and everything, and they keep all the money, and it keeps it in the family kind of thing, right, with the cruise line. Well, they just announced that they're going to build another one, this time in Cozumel. And this one is set to come out in 2026 where we know beach clubs in Cozumel are very, very popular. People always are heading off to one place or the other to spend the whole day out by either on the beach area or in a private pool area with food and drinks and music. And it's just an easy place to go and relax. And it's also an enclosed area. You have to, you know, it's secured. There's security there. It makes uh, people feel a lot more secure and safe. And it's a nice getaway from the cruise ship that still, you get your food, you get your drinks. Well, Royal Caribbean came up with, you know what? We should have our own. That way, again, we can keep it all in the family. And it might make it easier also to get to these private beach clubs. If you have your own private beach clubs, you imagine that they would have shuttles back and forth on a regular basis to get back to the ship, which would make things a lot less complicated as they are now. Sometimes when we're going to a private beach club in Cozumel, you have to flag down taxis. If you're a group like 30 or 40 people, that means you have you know 10, 11 taxis going to get to the destination, then you have to find them to get back. So it would be a lot easier if you just had those shuttles arranged by the cruise line going to their own private place. I think that might, uh, might, might make sense for the cruise line. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And again, condolences both to the family on the MSC cruise ship of the gentleman who went missing and the family and crew members aboard the new Amsterdam as we've lost two fellow crew members and uh, yeah, in a tragic accident there. Just goes to show we might think of it as a holiday and a luxury vacation. Those folks on board are working and they sometimes work in dangerous situations. Well, I hope you do appreciate this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Let's see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world. Hit that subscribe button till next time. Have yourself a safe and a great vacation.